In this video we're going to learn about the VAT return in the United Kingdom. We'll see how to run a VAT return, how to reconcile the VAT return, how to find a previous VAT return and the accounting created by reconciling a VAT return. The VAT return is normally run every quarter for a business and it determines how much money is owed to the HMRC. It calculates how much tax is payable for the sales they have made and how much money can be claimed back on purchases and ultimately what you will pay to the HMRC. It can be found by going to the Reports VAT Return. In the screen you will need to enter the from and the to date for the period you wish to run your return for, which is normally for a three month period. So in this case we're going to use from the 1st of the 10th 2013 and we're going to end it on the 31st of the 12th, 2013. There are three options on the right hand side that can be used. The first is include current reconciled. This will include all transactions, even if they have been reconciled on a previous return. They cannot be recounted on a different VAT return. The second is include unreconciled. This will include any unreconciled items that were from a previous period. The red text will show how many items there are. And the third is show detail. This will give a list of all items that are going to be included in the return. To run the return, you just need to press the show VAT form button. In this example, I'm only going to select the last two options and leave the other free as we do not need this information. Once a return has been run, it will populate the table with the values that relate to the each tax code. So for example, T0 will affect box 6 for sales and box 7 for purchases. The totals then are shown on the green table which is used for your submission to the HMRC. This is done by using the HMRC portal outside of BrightPearl. When you are ready to reconcile the VAT return, we do advise that you take two copies of the VAT return using the link provided. When you are ready, click on the Reconcile VAT Return button. You will get a message asking you if you want to reconcile. You do press OK to this. The VAT return has now been successfully reconciled. Once the VAT return has been run, the system will automatically mark all transactions included in the return as being VAT reconciled. And this can be seen under this journal. Under the VAT reconciled, there's a green tick and a date that the journal was VAT reconciled on. As well as marking each journal as being VAT reconciled, the system will automatically create a VAT liability journal. This can be found under the VAT liability account, normally code 2202 under your chart of accounts. In here we will see all the journals that are created for the VAT return. And if we click on the journal ID number, we will see the actual VAT liability journal that is created affecting the sales tax control account, the purchase tax control account and the VAT liability account. If you need to look at historical VAT returns, this can be done by going to the reports, VAT, VAT return history. This window will show all VAT returns both reconciled and those that have been manually removed from the system. You can undo a VAT return here by using the remove option to the right of the return. This will not remove the VAT liability journal that was originally posted and you will need to go and cancel this journal. This can be found by going to the VAT liability code. The view transactions will show all the general ledger items that were used on this return. In this video we have seen how to run a VAT return, how to reconcile a VAT return, how to find a previous VAT return and the accounting created by the reconciling of a VAT return. That takes us to the end of the video about the VAT return for the United Kingdom.